Okay, I want to talk to you now about regions of the city. Oh, regions of the city. You lived in Laurel Canyon. I, uh, yes I did. I was actually homeowner in Laurel Canyon. Tell us more, now I'm just going to turn it to real estate. Tell us more about your home in Laurel Canyon, which is in Hollywood. Oh, uh, thanks, Dina. I will. No, I, what do you want to know? Um, what was your favorite thing about Laurel Canyon? I aspire to live in the Hollywood Hills. I live um, now like Sunset and Holloway. You mm -hmm. dropped me off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being my free Uber. Um, but my, I'm like at the base of the hill that I want to move up into. Like, but are you, are you talking Laurel or are you talking the actual Hollywood Hills? Uh, I, th I think it starts at Laurel for me, and then it could go, it could go Bird Streets, or it could go... Oh, Bird Streets. Right? Um, here's the thing. I'm, I'm too, uh, as I get older, I am um, looking more for, I don't think, there's not, uh, this is a long answer. I love the hills. I grew up in the hills. I grew mm -hmm. up in Benedict Canyon. Mm -hmm. We both did. So I'm very big on the hills. However, comma, Laurel is not, it's not um, conducive to entertaining. It's not conducive to... Oh, because you have to live by the school so that you can use that as the valet parking because it's not like people could drive to your house and just park in front and have a party. Not that we would know that. Not that we ever did that at my <laughs> mother's house in Laurel Canyon. But to, to your point, conducive to entertaining. But it is conducive to entertaining when you get there and you have this beautiful view. Yeah, but... But yes, I, I agree with you. It, you it just really, start hammering your idea down. No, 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 I just, deny, deny. Suddenly you see me signing. <laughs> signing. I'm like, I don't know why I'm buying this house, but you don't want me to. Um, no. Improv, <laughs> yes, she's never good. deny, she's never good. deny. Oh, please. <laughs> I am, I'm, you know I actually got, I was cast on an improv show for saying no. I absolutely believe it. So kids, there are no rules. The rules are there are no rules. Um, no, I love the hills. I think they're 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 some of the most magical places in Los Angeles. However, um, I also want as I as I, I want creature comforts. I want people to be able to pull up and not have to worry about you know falling off a cliff. I don't even care if they fall off a cliff. Screw them. They should well, be able to drive up easily to that eventual fall. Yeah. Where do you live now? I don't. I'm homeless. <laughs> That's why you have a really nice car, so that you can live in the car. That's exactly it. Um, showering is a bit difficult, but... Um, Join Equinox. You can have your nice car and then have a beautiful shower. Oh my God, you're so smart. That's because I live in my car. Um, I live by the Beverly Center, uh, kind of by West Hollywood. Right, we call that Miracle Mile, sort of? No, we, I believe we call it Beverly Grove. Which is one of my favorite places in Los Angeles. Actually, if I was going to own a home, Beverly Grove would probably be where I would buy. I drove past Century City the other day. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I can't wait I think wait the Grove is up for awakening. It's a commercial you real estate phrase first. that I just said, but I think they're up for like- Is everywhere. that really a, a term? It is now, I just made it a term. Oh my God, you need to like do things. Like there needs to be sound effects that you just came up with a term. How about this? Mm. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> okay, not that. I'm gonna work on it. Say the word again. Ooh. No, idiot. <laughs> what What does the Grove need to do? Oh, it's in for a, an awakening. It's in, yeah, because because I think it's outside and everyone goes there and it's always crowded and you can go for a dinner and a movie and that's the only place to go and that's about to all happen new and revised in Century City and in Italy. Jesus, Christ. in Italy, Italy. Mario Batali. Oh, Mario Batali? Well, why didn't you just say Italy? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Mario, we'd love to come and try out Italy when it opens. They were at a food thing I went to. They had a booth, and I just stood and talked to Lee. I was like, when's it opening? Like, I sh I, she was like this far from calling security. To like, this lady has eaten all the free food and keeps acting like she's going to come to the restaurant when it opens. Um, so, so, good. so Century City is going to have all of that movie theaters and places to go, and I think I've been going in the movie theaters the uh, the entire time during the oh, please. Um, no, it's but it's going to be exquisite. There's and a tiny Shake Shack there <gasps> now. I like a big Shake Shack. I like to go West Hollywood Shake Shack. Well, I, I, there's something not working for me with the tiny one. Yeah, I don't like tiny. That's not true. I do. I like quaint and tiny sometimes. Not my Shake Shack. 
And it doesn't travel well. You can get it delivered now. I don't think it travels well. No, it, of course you it doesn't. It right That's like going to Fat Burger and getting it delivered. You know, no, you don't do that. Are you a Fat Burger, or Shake Shack, or an In and Out? I don't know what Fat Burger is. Okay, <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. You nasty, <laughs> nasty. <laughs> Boom. Um, uh, Fat Burger. I don't know that they've made maintained the consistency for the brand over the last 35, 40 years. Uh, <laughs> In and Out, I think, has, has had a, a great message from the beginning, and it's always good. Shake Shack, I had to be talked into. <laughs> so Did you sad. have to be talked into because of the lines at first? Yes, and yeah. I went to West Hollywood, and then I was with Tammy Brown, and they had wine on the list. <laughs> well, of course. So when do you think the last time I went to in and out or Fat Burger was? <laughs> they have wine at Shake Shack, so. I was with someone last night who said that they were a severe drinker. And that's, Ooh, that's new. Isn't that nice? It's like being a raging alcoholic, but I'm a severe drinker. Severe. But he said it in a very positive, a, a affirmative very positive, way. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So for severe drinkers. Is it severe? <laughs> now I'm going to do it to coffee. you. It's not coffee.